Hey guys, Dark Humility here. We are about to attempt a tier 100 Nightmare Dungeon. We are going to do... Let's see, where is it here? Where's my tier 100 Nightmare Dungeon? We are going to do it. Oh yeah, Corvalar Ramparts. There we go. With a Blight CE Necromancer in Season 1. It's a beast. We'll briefly show off all of the gear at the end if we're able to successfully complete it. Let's get into it. And yes, I am recording for people in the chat. Of course, if you ever want to do a tier 100 seriously for the challenge, make sure to pop that 900 armor potion. It's going to help a lot. Alright, so this is a no minion Blight CE build. We're going in. Wish us luck. I am using a shield for higher defensive power. I'm using an extra defensive aspect from the normal build, which is this one. I'm using the, the embalmer aspect. It'll help us maybe uh, get some extra life and whatnot. Uh, there's another thing we're also doing to make sure we survive. Also making sure we're using territorial instead of scourge on the paragon board. So the shadow damage over time isn't that insane, but we do have damage to close enemies since we get close up that is a very good stat anyway but it also gives us some close enemy dr so it's very good stuff very solid choice here <clears throat> we're going to try to do it on my necromancer we were able to do tier 100 on both shadow minions and even pure minions both uh, videos are already up on my youtube here so you can, of course, always check this out. Necromancer is so strong, though, you can almost probably do it with any build without too much trouble. I think the problem here might not be doing enough damage, but... Uh... Gotta get that reap in there. Gotta get that blight on him. Sounds like we have the butcher, which is gonna kill us. We're gonna take the death on that one. There's no way we kill the butcher. Not, not in a tier 100. I can already tell that I'll be your best friend in this forsaken camp. Yeah, there he is. Yeah. See, I can, I can show you guys how strong he is, though, if you want to see. Two one hundred butcher. That's unlucky. Yeah, it's just a free death, basically. What I could do is I could drag him over to other monsters. <laughs> right. Make sure we just kill other things, you know. Uh, you know what's funny though? There is a small chance I could maybe kill him, but I'd have to play perfectly. That's not gonna happen. Yeah, we're just gonna die, probably right here. Yeah. Because I messed up. I blood missed, wasn't it? <laughs> That's always funny, though. I actually did some pretty serious damage to him there, though. Perfect, uh, tier 100 butcher. Yeah, tier 100 butcher is very brutal indeed. I hope all my Diablo 4 fans are willing to watch me again in Season 2, by the way. One of the last acts I take in Diablo 4 until Season 2 is this right here. Oh my goodness! Oh, that was... that was unlucky. Man, we're getting unlucky here. I don't know if we got this one, honestly. I might have to roll another tier 100 and try again. Brutal, yeah, you took off about 10%. Yeah, yeah. 
10%, but 10% is only 10%. I'm getting wrecked really hard here. I don't know why. The problem is that the fire range chain is like nasty stuff. <laughs> You can see though, this build, they're doing plenty of damage in this tier 100 monster build. Plenty of damage. Oh, I got one shot by the burning chest! One shot! What? 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 Well, you know, you don't even have to do this event to complete the tier 100, so I don't even know why I'm doing it. <laughs> we'll probably have to retry, honestly. I'm kind of dicking around here, not gonna lie. This is not a serious attempt. <laughs> this one is, uh, goes out to pass her. Nice. Vendor is nasty stuff, man. Nasty stuff. Do they have hardcore in this? Oh, they do, yeah. And, uh, hardcore is brutal. I need more time. Well, I could just get out of that. But... going anywhere near that thing anymore it's funny this is this is after the patch where they nerfed fire enchant and it still does a ridiculous amount of damage it's not even fair no we can only die one more time so <laughs> not a lot of room for error on this one <laughs> First I get the Butcher, then I die twice to an event that I don't even have to do. This is a this is a fun one. It's a good showcase of power though. They have they actually have discounted the game 25% uh, very recently. But it doesn't have a leaderboard yet, so. Yeah, there's a lot of features I think a lot of people are looking for before they seriously play the game. Well, they're all planned features for the most part. So the game will get better. That's the that's a synopsis there. You know, the game is good, but it can get a lot better. And I can see how people might get bored of it fast now. Explosions, that is a death for sure. Right, if I hit by that. I gotta say, uh, the shield is kind of nice for a tier 100, though. Makes it pretty easy. I still play D2R. Um, mostly PD2 right now, actually. It's just PD2 and D4. But D4, I'm about to take a break on it and uh, return to it. Uh, season 2, basically. That's like a month and a half, so. I can just do other things for a month and a half, my man. Other funds. 
Oh god. Well, at the end of the day, we are advancing. Yeah, I only- I haven't even died to a single, like, normal dungeon mechanic yet. But I will. The 10 mid 2 mid's gonna kill me, watch. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Well, that's a really tough situation right there. Okay, here we go. We're gonna, uh... We're gonna have to initiate like this, actually. Oh, fuck. That was actually really bad. That was a poor initiation, man. Poor initiation. By the way, these blood orbs are kind of nice, you know, just having them heal you everywhere. I mean, you don't understand why they cap it to 100. I like caps. You know why I like caps? Because then there isn't some kind of absurd, like, grind. Where... Only the most absurd grinders win, you know? Think about Diablo 3. Does anyone really like infinitely grinding Paragon or having only the most no life people having a shot at getting the best characters and shit? That's ridiculous. Man. I personally think it's ridiculous. Uh, I don't... I don't subscribe to that. Yeah, they're all bots. Like, all it does is incentivize botting. I mean... If anything, that's just a huge incentive for botting. It's like... Just give the botters exactly what they want. A system where 24-7 gameplay is literally, like, the best thing to do. That's actually a point that a lot of people make that I often forget. Yeah, the bots are... No, yeah, bots are little. Alright, Lieutenant Truman. If I don't die to the fucking, um, whatchamacallit, the council as well. Make sure all my shit is up though, just in case. What's up, Skadosh? How you doing? Yeah. Oh, he's got cold enchanted. Oh, that's bad, actually. Oh. Oh, they did nerf the crap out of it, though. I might not kill me anymore. Alright, that was good. You heard tutorials three days ago? Bro, that's sick, man. Really? Um, we're talking about D2R, PD2, or like what? how you clear a tier 100. See? You could even troll and die three times for no reason. And, uh, yeah, the, the Blight Sea Necromancer. No minions, no protection, just goes in like a boss and crushes that. No problem. Don't even need to be in Blood Mist permanently like Infinite Mist to make that happen. You just be tanky. That's a good demo right there. Good demo. 
Let me know what you guys think in the comments below about this scuffed tier 100. But at least you guys know that the Blight Sea and Necromancer could do all of the hardest content in the game. And it could even have good sustain with all of those blood orbs as well. So what I will do here is I will just briefly show off the gear that was used to complete this. So you can see how to make yourself tanky enough you know, to survive in general. Maybe not the butcher, maybe not uh uh chest fire enchant, but you know, most other things should be fine. See all the sacrifice, gotta sacrifice the cold and the reapers, gotta sacrifice the iron. Could even sacrifice uh bone if you wanted more attack speed, but you don't really have to do that. And then of course, uh show you here we got their acolytes reap. Max Blight, Supernatural Blight, Heated Flesh. If you actually wanted to be even more defensive, you could even go Paranormal, but... I like more damage. You gotta have damage, too. It's kind of hard to say whether that'd be good. You already have so many stuns, like, I feel like Immobilize is kind of redundant. You got Ghastly there, though. Max Corpse Explosion, Blighted. Go by Death, Grim Harvest. Uh, we are using the heart, so we're going to decrepify. This is done in Season 1 with a decrepit heart. Death's Embrace. Got to get that extra close DR. Got close DR in a lot of different places, as you could see on my gear when I went over it real quick. I can already we tell that I'll be your best minions. friend in this forsaken camp. No minions, so you want maximum bonuses there. You can have Supreme Bone Storm, and you have Shadow Blight. Control Glyph, into Wither, into Territorial, you're going to get a lot of other nodes, especially all the DR nodes, just a lot of stuff. Flesh Eater, you get some damage, Exploit for that Vulnerable damage. This dungeon actually made the Vulnerable uptime on the monsters kind of small, but we are still benefiting from it quite a bit. You have Ruin there, Scent of Death. Giving you just free DR most of the time with extra corpses. Darkness. Death marked. And essence. Now, you might be wondering, on a corpse explosion blight build where it's damage over time, why would you focus on critical strike damage so much on this build? It's simple. Uh, shadow blight crit. So, when you're stacking up shadow blight quickly, it crits hard. That is how we're able to do so much damage on this build. And I want to make sure to get that. Don't skimp on any of it. You can see we have a lot of heavy DR on this build. Uh, one thing that would have been nice is maybe faster run walk on the amulet, but those are all good stats too, so. And the armor is also always welcome. That one of these stats on the shield is actually not very good, which is the heal one. It could have been nice to get like another DR one. So there's definitely a lot more room for improvement, but tier 100 is no problem on this build. GG. See you guys in the next installment. You guys are beasts. Kill it. Kill it. Smash it.